The envelope indicator is a tool that adds to identify the upper and lower bands of the trading range. It does this by plotting two moving average envelopes on the price chart. One should add up to a certain distance about the price and the other should head below. If the market price breaks through the these bands, we may see some significant side to the move and trade accordingly. So hello my dear and beloved subscribers, my name is Pori and I have been a while in trading for quite a while to share my knowledge with someone else. That's why I created my YouTube channel. And I'm really happy to see new subscriptions to the channel. So if you already started to, uh, watching this video and you're interested in trading, be sure to subscribe. I share everything I know about trading here. So in this video, I'll tell you everything uh, you need to know about the envelopes indicator, show you how to use it on the pocket option trading platform, provide an example and an envelope indicator strategy. And the heart of the envelopes indicator is a moving average. Inherent aspects of a moving average are constantly reflected in the envelopes indicator. So what do we know about moving average? A moving average is used as a trend confirming tool. It also has uses as a trend following tool. Finally, it is a leading indicator. All three of these aspects also apply to the envelopes indicator. Trend confirmation. A moving average smooth our price for extensions and allows you to see the broader patterns of the market. A moving coverage that slopes upward confirms that prices has been trading upwards. Conversely, if a MA line slopes downward, it indicates a downtrend. With our envelopes indicator, we can also look at the direction of our bands to inform us about the trend. If our bands are sloping upward, that is confirms an uptrend. If our bands are sloping downwards, it confirms a downtrend. Trend following. So, as a simple trend following signal, we can look for those times when the current price crosses above the moving current line. This may be a signal for a breakout and a new upward trend. Likewise, a downtrend color sour of a price thought the moving average may signal a new downtrend. We can use the envelopes indicator in a similar manner. With our envelopes indicator, it displays email lines that have been shifted up and down. Therefore, to cross through that these lines, the breakout must be even more severing than the when the price crosses a conventional moving average. And when the price breaks above the upper envelope, it is a signal that we may be seeing the start of a new uptrend. When the price breaks below the lower envelope, it is a signal that we may be seeing the start of a new downtrend. You should be aware that the signals come with a firm Kevin. The majority of price breakouts do not go on to form new trends. They will instead more frequently revert back into the previous price range. When a new trend does form, however, the price moves may be dramatic. The duration and accents of a price move can substantially outweigh the losses incurred from those acceleration when a trend failed to form. This, in a nutshell, in a wide trend following can be a third test of trading discipline and nerves. A lagging indicator. The third aspect I mentioned was that moving averages are what is known as a lagging indicator. This is because the price data always incorporated the periods of the past, so that in section on the, this market's direction will always be reflected more slowly by a moving coverage by than the price itself. So, this takes us back to our first point about confirming a trend. If we enter at an uptrend, you naturally see the price of the market moving upward. This will happen before you start to see a moving coverage turn upward. However, you can really have any confidence that you're seeing an uptrend until you also see the moving coverage move up. Now, let's test how the Avrolope tool performs in real market conditions. 
while there are some examples of historical chairs and beneficial for understanding the basics, nothing is more costing than the real money practice. I'll find a serious illustration of the use in Japanese yen currency pair. We can enter a three dimensionally based on the envelope signal. I will enter treat with a nine minutes expiration time. It's a non-standard duration, but with envelope, the best practice is to use an expiration time of three candles. I'm analyzing the chart on the three minutes time frame, which is why I'll be entering at nine minutes straight. Now let's wait a few seconds for the price to return precisely to the envelope. Meanwhile, you can check other currency pairs as well. Perhaps there might be other even more favorable opportunity. No, for now the best situation is and use the Japanese yen. There are potentially suitable situation sales work, but confirmation might require waiting for another 5, 10, 15 or even 20 minutes here. We only need to wait a few seconds. In any case, on use the Japanese yen, we will soon be able to enter and open a position. Let's wait for the price to drop a little more. A similar situation has formed on the Euro and Japanese yen charts as well, just like on the used in Japanese yen pair. It's not surprising that currency pair often correlates so with each other. Let's take a look at Euro and Japanese yen on the trading platform. Well, on this pair, the payout percentage is only 15%. And that is quite a low and does not align with my risk management and money management principles. Now I don't want to enter here. My proven goal is to make money and also teach you to earn as well. All right, we can now open a position on the USD and Japanese yen currency pair. The price has dropped slightly and then rebounded. I'm entering a trade for $1,000 on the downside. Now let's discuss why I hesitated to open a trade for so long, why it took time to choose a currency pair and how to enter the market in such situations. Let's start with the envelope indicator. It's one of the most powerful tools in a technical analysis that provides valuable signals about the market conditions. Currently, I'm using envelope with a period of 20 and a duration of 0.1. Addition, I have a simple moving average, CMA, with a period of six candles. I'm analyzing charts with a three minutes time frame and opening trades for three candles, which means nine minutes. If you're using a different time frame, such as a one minute chart, then you can open trades for three minutes for a five minutes time frame. You would open trades for 15 minutes. I believe that is clear. Now let me explain how to use the envelope indicator. Ideally, you should open the trade when the price breaks out the envelope and then returns back inside it. So, the price initially approaches the upper boundary of the envelope, perhaps even slightly exceeding it, and it may even stabilize about it. This is precisely what happened on the USD and Japanese yen chart. The price simply broke through the upper envelope boundary with the one powerful candle. And we recover it envelope. Now, considering the moon average, it should intersect with the candle that returns within the envelope boundaries. More precisely, the candle should cross our CMA. I was waiting for this particular moment to enter a short trade. Conversely, if I wanted to open a long trade, I would have waited for the opposite conditions. That is, the price should have fallen below the lower envelope boundary or cloud to come too close to it. So the green candle that would return within the boundaries should have crossed the CMA. These conditions are easy to spot on the chart. And the strategy itself is straightforward. The envelope is uh, constructed in a way that during regular trading, the price rank within the indicator's boundary most of the time. If the price goes beyond the range, it indicates something unusual is happening in the market on a typical moment for the death asset. A correction usually follows such movements which stabilize the balance between buyers and sellers. It is during this correction that we make a profit. And the key to this strategy is to set the envelope duration period to 0 0.1, 
and to enter the tree it's uh, only for three candles. Five candles might be too much, while one or two candles might be instructed to work through the correction. This is a compressive strategy in which are rules alternative to specific indicators and the trading instrument, namely binary options. That is why with a three minutes time frame, I enter the trade for unusual duration of nine minutes. Now there are five minutes left until the trade closes, so let's wait. The trade is coming to an end, and the strategy worked almost perfectly. I entered the trade not at the best point, but the price corked below the previous minimum, just as expected within the strategy. And there you have it, the trade is about to close, and I earned $730. Head to Trading Cube, add envelope and CMA to our chart, adjust and test them out. So thank you for your attention, and I'm delighted that you're watching this video too far and you enjoyed it, I kindly request you to show your support by liking it. Additionally, I encourage you to subscribe to both my YouTube channel and my Telegram channel to stay updated with my content. I appreciate your support so much. Bye.